Hi friends, welcome to our 3G Stenography Shorthand channel. Today we will practice legal dictation exercise number 2 with a speed of 100 words per minute. So let's start. Start. A suit was instituted in 1950 before the civil judge at Faisabad by a Hindu worshipper. Gopal Singh Visharad seeking a declaration that according to his religion and custom he is entitled to offer prayers at the main Janmabhumi temple near the idols. The Nirmohi Akhara represents a religious sect amongst the Hindus known as the Ramanandi Bairagis. The Nirmohis claim that they were at all material times in charge and management of the structure at the disputed site which according to them was a temple until 29th December 1949 on which date an attachment was ordered under section 145 of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1898. In effect, they claim as she baits in service of the deity managing its affairs and receiving offerings from devotees, there is a suit of 1959 for the management and charge of the temple. The Uttar Pradesh Sunni Central Board of Waqf, Sunni Central Waqf Board and other Muslim residents of Ayodhya instituted a suit in 1961 for a declaration of their title to the disputed site. According to them, the old structure was a mosque which was built on the instructions of Emperor Baber by Mir Baki, who was the commander of his forces following the conquest of the subcontinent by the Mughal Emperor in the third decade of the 16th century. The Muslims deny that the mosque was constructed on the site of a destroyed temple. According to them, prayers were uninterruptedly offered in the mosque until 23rd December 1949 when a group of Hindus discredited it by placing idols within the precincts of its three domed structure with the intent to destroy, damage and defile the Islamic religious structure. The Sunni Central Waqf Board claims a declaration of title and if found necessary, a decree of, for possession a suit was instituted in 1989 by a next friend on a behalf of the deity Bhagwan Sri Ram Virajman and the birthplace of Lord Ram Asthan Sri Ram Janmabhumi. The suit is founded on the claim that the law recognizes both the idol and the birthplace as judicial entities. The claim is that the place of birth is sanctified as an object of worship personifying the divine spirit of Lord Ram. Hence, like the idol which the law recognizes as a juridical entity, the place of birth of the deity is claimed to be a legal person 
or as it is described in legal parlance to possess a juridical status